The Holy Tales Today's story is about the riot which broke out in Ephesus when Paul went to preach there. A riot? Well, that sounds scary. Paul's third missionary journey was in Ephesus. Did you receive the Holy Spirit? He asked the believers there. The people had no idea what he was talking about. Then what baptism did you experience? He asked them once again. The baptism of John. They answered. Paul then went on explaining them that John's baptism was to show a desire to turn away from sin. But John always encouraged people to believe in Jesus. The people understood this and were soon baptized in the name of Jesus. When Paul placed his hand on them, they immediately received the Holy Spirit. Paul then went to the synagogue to preach. He stayed there for three months and preached about God's kingdom. Some people rejected his message while some turned into believers. Paul took the believers and continued to preach in the lecture hall. He did this for two years and many people came to know about God's message. God also gave Paul the power to do amazing miracles and many people were healed through the powers. However, there was a group of Jewish people who were traveling from town to town casting out evil spirits. They tried to use Jesus' name to do their miracles by saying, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus who Paul preaches about. But they came across one evil spirit which said to them, I know Jesus and I know Paul, but who are you? The spirit then jumped on them and attacked them. The Jewish group ran out of the house to escape the evil spirit. The news of this incident spread quickly through Ephesus, and a great fear settled on the city. People began to honor Jesus' name, and many of them started believing in him and confessed their sins. A little later, Paul felt the Holy Spirit telling him to visit Macedonia. He went to several other cities too, but then again he heard of troubles stirring up in Ephesus. The trouble began with Demetrius. Demetrius was a silversmith who had a flourishing business building silver shrines for the Greek goddess Artemis. One day, Demetrius brought his workers together and said, You know our money comes from this business. You have also heard about Paul who spreads the word that our gods are nothing. He's doing this not only in Ephesus, but in other places too. Our own goddess Artemis is losing respect of people because of Paul. She's being robbed of her importance. Demetrius' speech stirred up the crowd. They were very angry and so they rushed to the amphitheater hoping to capture Paul. Paul's companions begged him not to go there. The crowd grew more angry and unruly until the mayor was able to get them to quieten down and listen to him. The mayor said, Everyone knows that Ephesus is the guardian of the great Artemis, so don't do anything that will get you in trouble. If Demetrius has a case against Paul, then take it to court. But don't riot or the Roman government will come down on us. Hearing this, the crowd broke up and went back to their own work. Thank goodness! Paul was saved! Yes! The Holy Tales Today's story is about Paul getting arrested in Jerusalem. Paul bid goodbye to the believers in Ephesus and headed for Jerusalem. Some of Paul's friends begged him not to go there because Paul had received death threats from the Jewish leaders who were very angry with him. 
but Paul was ready to give his life for Jesus' sake. His friends were unable to convince him otherwise, so some of his friends went along with him. In Jerusalem, Paul met the leaders of the church and told them all about his experiences preaching in other cities and the number of people who were following Jesus now. The leaders praised God for all the work he had done, but then they said, We know that a lot of Jews now believe in Jesus because of your preaching. However, we take the law of Moses very seriously. The Christians of Jerusalem tell us that your preaching is trying to make people turn their backs to Moses' laws. So what should we do now? We have an idea. We have some men who are going to the temple to get their heads shaved and be part of the purification ceremony. Pay for them to have their heads shaved. Then everyone will know that the rumors are false and that you encourage people to obey the laws of Moses. Paul agreed to their plan and he went through the purification process the next day. But there were some Jews from Asia who saw him in the temple and immediately started a riot against him. They grabbed him and yelled at him, saying, This is the man who teaches people to go against Moses' laws. He even speaks against the temple. Gradually, the entire city joined in the riot against Paul. The people dragged him out of the temple, trying to kill him. But the Roman commander arrested Paul and put him in chains when he heard the news of the riot. He asked the people about Paul and what he had done. People were shouting out different things about him, and the commander was confused. He had no clear idea as to what Paul might have done. The crowd pointed to Paul and continued shouting, Kill him! Kill him! Paul asked the commander if he would get permission to speak to the crowd. The commander let him. The crowd went quiet when they saw Paul come forward to speak. Paul said, I am a Jew and have learned the Jewish laws and customs. I have obeyed them and I am eager to honor God just as you are. There was a time when I persecuted the believers of Jesus. I even went to Damascus to stop them from preaching against Jesus. But Jesus himself spoke to me on that journey. I now know that he is the real Son of God. I was chosen by God to spread his message to the entire world. One day, I had a vision of God in the temple. He told me to leave Jerusalem because the people here would not believe my message. I argued with him, but he still told me to leave Jerusalem. He asked me to go far away and preach to the Gentiles. When the crowd heard Paul say the words Gentile, they went crazy and began shouting, Kill him! Kill him! The commander brought Paul inside and ordered that he be beaten. As the soldiers were beginning to beat him, Paul asked if it was legal to treat a Roman citizen in this way. You are a Roman citizen? The commander asked. Yes, I am. I am a citizen by birth. Paul said. So they untied him and did not beat him. That was a really enjoyable story, Holy. Yes, it was! The Holy Tales Today's story is called The Jonah and the Whale. Long, long time ago, there lived a man called Jonah. Jonah was a prophet who lived in Israel. One day, God appeared to Jonah. Jonah, I want you to go to the city of Nineveh and warn the people there. Tell them that I am going to destroy all of them and their city if they do not stop disobeying me. Jonah was not very happy with the job God asked him to do. Nineveh was a city full of bad people 
and Jonah knew that. He was very scared to go there. So instead of going to Nineveh, he decided to go the other way, which would take him far, far away from Nineveh. He hoped God would pick someone else to do this particular job of warning the people there. Jonah got onto a ship, which was going to the farthest city he could find. He was feeling really tired. So Jonah went down to the bottom of the ship to take a quiet nap. God was very angry with Jonah for he had disobeyed him. He knew exactly where Jonah was. It caused an enormous storm to come up. The sailors on the ship were afraid that the storm would sink their ship. They started throwing everything into the sea to lighten their ship. The storm got worse. They started praying to God to save them. Jonah knew what the problem was, and he also knew that there was only one thing to do. God would not stop the storm until Jonah did not do the job God asked him to do. So Jonah asked the sailors to throw him into the sea. He knew God was there with him to protect him. The sailors did what Jonah asked them to do, and immediately the storm quietened and all was calm. The sailors were astonished. They had no idea what was happening. In the sea, Jonah sank deeper and deeper. But God had different plans for him. He did not want Jonah to drown. He only wanted him to obey his orders. So, God sent a huge fish to swallow Jonah to take him down to the sea. Jonah felt very scared. He prayed to God for forgiveness for disobeying him. Finally, after three days being inside the dark, stinky belly of the fish, the fish rose up to the top of the sea and spit Jonah out onto the shore. Jonah then went to the city of Nineveh and told them to stop doing all the bad work that they were doing as this was making God very angry. The people of the city believed Jonah and God saved them. Oh my my! How did Jonah even manage to live inside the stinky belly of the fish for three whole days? That's because God was there to protect him. So, did you kids enjoy the story? Oh yes, we loved it. Thank you for the wonderful story, Holy. My pleasure. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole